Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with your general reading for the week of March 18th through 24th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I just want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, 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 if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the second channel. Uh, the second channel is That Wild Spark. You can find it by doing the little at sign, That Wild Spark, or you can look down in the description box. There is a link or on the community tab. There are links to it as well. I'll probably share it again today or whenever uh, this video comes out or whenever. Uh, and yeah, make sure that you check it out. Make sure that you are subscribed there and also that you are subscribed here. We would love to have you. You're more than welcome. We would love to have you on both channels. All right, let's go ahead and check in, see what the energy for this general reading this week. That is too many. Uh, oh, there's one that doesn't belong in there. Uh, is for you, Aquarius. Now, things have been um, awfully stressful for me <sighs> lately, this last several days and such. So maybe you guys are feeling that as well. Um, it's been, I've been having a bit of a difficult time grounding or staying present or even just catching my breath. So some of you might be feeling that as well. If you are, I am sending you so much love, so many virtual hugs. We will get through it. We will get through it. We will get through it. Things will get better. All right. This is the one. We're going to get a couple of tarot cards to go with that. Ooh, this one flipped over. Ooh, yes. Okay. My. Oops. Okay. Even right now, I'm feeling just a little bit, that's too many, just a little bit shaky. Okay. Almost like my blood sugar is low. So somebody may be feeling that. Make sure that you are checking that out. Okay. Make sure that you eat something. You have uh, some some maybe something sweet like a candy or a juice or something if it feels as if your blood sugar is low if you're feeling a bit shaky I don't know why I'm feeling that way just since I started recording so take care of yourselves out there okay take care of yourselves let's get a quote that we'll end the reading with oh okay two all right, let's jump in. Let's see what's happening going on. Coming in for you this week in general. It says saying yes to deep, deeper connections, spending quality time with family and friends. Yes, please. So, wow, wow. This feels like a breath of fresh air, okay? Some of you are really going to be um, spending that time saying yes to deeper connections um, and or creating new connections during this time. Some of you are really going to uh, feel the need, the nudge, the the niggle kind of to spend time with family and friends. Some of you have been, I don't know why this is coming through, but this is what I'm getting, neglecting um, family or friends or even a specific or special relationship. And this week you're going to feel that energy, that kind of surge within you to really give back into um, kind of a routine or for some of you, it's it's going to be as simple as making a phone call or reaching out via text. But some of you have had kind of a distance or disconnect from family and friends. And during this week, there's going to be a feeling, almost a revelation um, or inspiration to reconnect or to create some deeper connections. Okay, so um, saying yes, yes. Of course, say yes, anything that comes through, but also create it, right? Again, some of you are going to um, be feeling that urge to, you know, uh, I, I don't know, even I'm hearing like uh, somebody saying, hey, you, you want to go to a movie with me? You want to hang out? You want to go get some dinner or drinks or, or whatever? Um, say yes, okay? It's going to feel like a breath of fresh air. It's going to create that connection, that deeper connection or that reconnection. And it feels like many of you really do need that during this time. Okay. So especially if you're feeling stressed or you're feeling right, um, can reconnecting, reconnecting, or having a deeper connection really kind of can pull you back into that 
kind of the, the reality of things and or back to being more present or grounded. Okay. It feels like just a little bit flighty, but again, I'm starting to, um, not feel that, that shaky feeling. So whoever that was or, or whoever it might've been, um, it feels as if you might have gotten something to, uh, help with that. It can be fairly quick. Sometimes it takes a minute, but Thank you for doing that because I'm not feeling as shaky anymore. So your first card here, of course, which, which makes sense, okay, is the uh, Ten of Swords, okay? Traumatic events, playing the victim, uh, immense pain. So see, some of you really are, it doesn't have to be as, um, as maybe... Um, wild as sometimes the ten of swords comes out to be or or appears to be um it could be that stress right that that energy that i was feeling at the very beginning and that has been coming through uh the last several days not only personally but also when i kind of tune into the collective energy it's felt that way just a lot going on so this is actually coming through this week in an area of what you need to let go of okay it's very easy to say oh you let go of that victim mentality let go of that stress get yourself more present um, it's very easy to say sometimes that feels much more difficult to do you there are many resources we live in a beautiful amazing age of technology there are many resources out there to assist us in um um being able to become more grounded into understanding meditation if that is uh, something into um understanding or being more at peace or how to release or how to heal use those resources to your benefit at this time okay but not only that this overall energy here is going to be very beneficial. That's why it's coming through to say, yes, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air. Okay. Now, uh, opportunities that are lying ahead for you. You have the hanged man. So some of you, there's this energy of surrender. Okay. Even in those moments where things may feel a little bit uncertain, even when you don't know why it's like nothing is happening or going on at times. Right. Um, and yet there's this feeling of uh, almost like, being concerned or feeling fearful or just this uncertainty even when there's nothing that's that's feeling stressful or nothing that's feeling concerning or right that sort of thing it can pop up it can come up this is an energy of surrender okay this is an opportunity for you to hopefully potentially if you feel right to take a step back and or to allow your support systems your family your friends right um to kind of come in and assist you and support you and or for some of you if we can get our mind off of whatever it is that we're ruminating on because a hang man is kind of this energy of of for some it can be this energy of um almost staying within something okay instead of shifting that perspective. So if we can get our mind off of it, right, and stop ruminating in it with the assistance of somebody else or something else, right, uh, that is um, beneficial. I'm not saying like go out and whatever, but, you know, like going to a movie or, or meeting with family or friends or just something that lifts us up and can kind of pull us out of our thoughts for a while. It can change that whole perspective. So this is coming in as an opportunity for you this week, the hanged man surrender, whatever it is, let go of, you know, any, um, any stuff that you feel like you can right? as far as, you know, feeling as if, um, uh, that stress and, and what can you do? Can you take a warm bath? Can you go for a jog? Right. Can you call somebody? Can you go to a movie? Can you, right. There's a lot of things that we can do to get us out of pattern cycles and that's going to be beneficial and or opportunistic for you this week. As far as that hanged man energy goes, it can move you into a place of surrender, of letting go of, of, um, allowing, right. Almost even taking a pause um, instead of hanging or staying within that kind of ruminating within that, that thought process or that, that energy. Okay. So that's that. So that is going to be beneficial. Okay. What do you need to pay attention to this week? You have the seven of wands. Okay. So standing your ground is going to be something that is going to be coming out conviction defiance. So some of you, um, what is coming through with the seven of wands, 
with you needing to pay attention this week is this energy of what are you what are you holding on to with that seven of wands okay what is what are you standing your ground on um holding on to that might not actually be beneficial for you could it be not really helping you could it be kind of hindering you, like um, staying within certain thought processes or staying within certain states? Or even um, for some of you, there's this feeling of kind of separation, right? Which we talked about here, a feeling of separation. It's time to um, potentially some of you or even just one of you has had a little um, tiff, is the word coming through here, with a specific family member or friend. <laughs> excuse me, that has caused a little bit of a disconnect. Um, some of you are really holding on to that. Really think about this week. Okay. Pay attention to that this week because that reconnection saying yes is going to be super, super uplifting and almost inspirational for you. It's going to benefit you. So, um, think about in the long run is whatever it is that that tiff or that whatever uh, the argument or that fight or whatever that you might be in with a family member or a friend is it worth it because there may be a moment during this week where you really need to or really feel pulled to reach out to that person it's going to be much better all the way around if this person is a solid person and one of your you know tribe or ride or die um if you are able to uh, kind of squash it, if that makes sense, okay. But also for some of you, there is that energy that spirit is putting new people on your path that people may be falling away with this ten of swords, this hangman, the seven of wands, right? Um, so that more or new people or more aligned people, that doesn't always sound amazing, but uh, it's the energy can come in and really, really assist you in uplifting you and supporting you and inspiring you. And whereas you are on the same level, more aligned with each other and you can do the same for them. Okay. Let's see. Unexpected showing up. You've got the page of coin. So this, the person, I love that this is the thrift shop. I love thrift shopping or, you know, kind of going into the, the vintage shops. Sometimes they're called and really seeing what you can put together, the outfits, the beautiful, beautiful kind of treasures that are found. I love that. But you have the page of coins in this unexpected energy here. And uh, this is coming through with this potential for somebody that is younger than you. But they are young but grounded. You see, we've been talking about being grounded um, or getting grounded, being more present here. There is a person that is going to be coming in who may be younger than you. Okay? but they are grounded. They are going to be somebody that is going to assist you in understanding uh, how to ground yourself. This could even be through a resource, which we talked about, okay, technology. It could be through that, but they're going to assist you in finding a more grounded space or peaceful space or present space and, or they are going to almost be a calm in your storm, okay? This is really, really gorgeous. Solid beginning, strong foundation. So you see, this is this is going to be somebody. It could be male or female. It's not about the, the gender. This specifically is a female being shown here, but it's about the energy, okay? They are going to assist you in creating a solid new beginning, a solid new understanding, right? Um, deeper connections and or new connections, okay? And strong foundations, okay? That could be with as simple as learning new breathing techniques that you take with you into the very future, right? It could be learning meditation. It could be uh, um, sitting under trees or grounding, taking your shoes and socks off and, and um, just being one with the, with the earth, right? There's so many different ways. Sometimes we think this has to be monumental and in the long run, it potentially will be, but it may start out and feel very simple with this person um, okay, this person could also be somebody who actually just just is a breath of fresh air and really just kind of blows your mind with the potential that they have. Uh, they could be a leader. They could be a teacher. They could be a healer. Okay, and the fact that they may be younger than you, but are so kind of put together and so well spoken could really just take your breath away or blow your mind, right? This is really coming through with this energy that spirit is putting the people on your path, connections, deeper connections, reconnections, right? But this new person is going to be somebody who is going to be very um, 
transformational for you. Okay. Wow. I'm excited for this to come in, to come to fruition, right? Because, uh, you know, many of you know, if you've been here for a minute, I'm Aquarius too. So these readings, you know, um, although I don't always find myself in them, uh, they are still uh, points that I refer to through the weeks or through the months as well. So lucky, lucky, lucky. It feels amazing. This energy with this uh, page of coins just feels amazing. It's like glowing energy coming through. Okay. And your likely outcome, you have the two of swords. So at a crossroads, at a crossroads, avoiding the truth or tough choices. So some of you, uh, and this is coming through not because but because some of you uh, are having energy fall away or people fall away that aren't aligned anymore, it can feel like a struggle. So you may feel a bit of a struggle with this as a likely outcome. Now, see, at the bottom of the deck, Spirit was like, okay, we need to do the bottom of the deck. Um, both of these cards can be considered choice or decision cards, okay? So it's interesting that this is coming through. The lovers, the two of swords coming through here um both can be choice or decision kind of cards crossroads card well this is more of a crossroads but there's a decision that needs to be made tough choices that need to be made the lovers is also that sometimes though the lovers can be depicted here it looks very kindred spirits desire connection right so we're ending here so that's why spirit had us because deeper connections right or reconnection connections is coming through here um but sometimes this can be depicted as two women and a man in the middle, almost like a, a third party or needing to decide between two different people. Sometimes it can be two men and a woman in the center. It just really depends on the deck and, and the creator. But the thing coming through here is that, that, you know, it's almost as if there's a decisions that need to be made. Aquarius, this week between your past and your new life, okay? The the people that need to fall away, right? Those tough choices, okay? As your this is your likely outcome. Tough choices, the feeling at a crossroads, avoiding the truth, not really maybe wanting to let the people that need to go or to fall away go. Um, and, you know, kind of this energy of, of finding your kindred spirits, right? Your uh, deeper connection, spending time with family and friends, almost like a spiritual connection or spiritually coming back together in one way or another, um, desire connection. This was, you know, deeper connection. So it's almost as if you, you decide between your old life and your new life this week, Aquarius. And, you know, that can be a tough decision. It can be a tough choice. Um, but almost that energy is figuratively, who are you going to go to? to bed with I guess I mean the, it's not really that right but um are you are you you know going to try to stay with an old life energy that no longer aligns with you or are you going to jump right in to kind of bed with this new life that is wanting to come through the people that spirit is putting on your path the right that kind of energy you are the one that gets to decide now you have two um two quotes that are coming out for you this week. It says, if you risk nothing, then you risk everything. Gina Davis, that is very, very fitting. Okay. Especially with this likely outcome over here. If you risk nothing, then you risk everything. So if you are not willing to let go of the old life or that new life, you may just stay where you've been. Okay. And the next one you have is we become what we think about Earl Nightingale. Okay, so where are you focused? Where's your perspective? Like we talked about all of that um, as well, but this is a little bit deeper and more kind of focused as far as those two go. Of course, this is a big week for you. You you get to decide whether you kind of stay with the old or you usher in the new, okay? It, it could be very breathtaking that and, you know, reconnecting, getting back together or having deeper connections with family and friends. This is a big week, of course. What will you decide, Okay. Ooh, breath of breath of fresh air coming through here very good energy here as well so all right i do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon it's right down there both of them uh, so you're notified every time i upload new readings it is free for you to subscribe to the youtube channel and it does support the lucky stars community in growing and thriving again if you haven't already check out the second channel that wild spark please subscribe over there if you haven't subscribed here as well subscribe here we'd love to have you on both channels always always welcome everybody is of course and as always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.